Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make your own animated logo using Neural Friends. Let's start a new project. And the first step of any new project is we need to select a model. So let's use the Dream Shaper model. It seems to work best for the animated logos. Now let's upload the logo that we want to bring to life. I'm going to use the Neural Frames logo. Now that it's uploaded, you'll see that the prompt is already automatically generated in the prompt box. This is based off of the image itself, which is great. So we don't actually have to change that. To set up the animation, the first thing we want to do is switch to pro mode and we need to adjust the, the settings. I've already uh, loaded the settings, so I'm just going to load them here. Zoom part one. We're going to drag this prompt box to around one second. So I'll go over the settings quickly here. We have a basic strength of 0.4, smooth of 9. Uh, most importantly, we have edge echo of 0.5 and a tile echo of 0.2. What this will do is, is maintain the shape and the actual edges of the logo itself, which is crucial for this animation. Next, we go on to the camera movements. We have no pan, no vertical pan, and we have a small negative one zoom with some basic rotations here. Now for the fun part, we need to add the second prompt. So I'm going to double click on the timeline here for our second prompt, and let's drag it to around 13 seconds. And you want to take the transition bar, this gray box, and also drag that to the edge there. So move my camera up here. And now we want to set the settings for the second prompt. So by clicking on this second prompt, I'm now adjusting the settings. This is where you can get a little bit creative. So you have to think, where do you want the, the logo to kind of end up or transform to? So what I'm gonna do is just do uh, neural networks, electricity, technology, abstract, space. So this will transition the Neural Friends logo to the second prompt. Now for the settings, I'm going to load it again, like I did before. So this is the second part right here. Uh, now you can see the strength is slightly increased. Uh, smooth is still at nine, edge echo still at 0.5, tile echo at 0.2. The things that have changed is the zoom. So the zoom is now at minus five and the rotation is at four. So over the course of this transition, it's going to go from a slow zoom and a slow rotation to eventually a fast zoom and a fast rotation. So now all that's left to do is click render. Now that we've rendered our video, we want to come to a program like CapCut. Drop your file in and the first thing you want to do is reverse it. So I'm just going to reverse it right here. Now the file is reversed, we want to change the speed. So if you click on speed, you want to go to curve and then custom. What I like to do is drag all these up here, all these um, keyframes, and this will make it faster, faster, and then eventually slower. And that's all you do guys. Let's have a look.